Happy Mother's Day, Mom. Do, 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 do. Cassidy Quinn. Hi, friends. Cassidy Quinn here. And Summit. Say hi. It is about to be Mother's Day. Or in my case, and maybe your case too if you're watching this, Motherless Day. Uh, this is my first Motherless Day. I hate it, but apparently that's what it's called. And um, it sucks. And as much as I would like to just pretend that this holiday is not actually happening, my email and the internet and all the ads and everything keep reminding me that it's time to buy a present for my mom. <laughs> and it's, it's just not, because I can't buy her a present. Or if I did, I couldn't give it to her. And I can't give her a card. Maybe I'll, like, write a card to her in my journal, or record a little voice memo for her, because I've been doing that a lot lately and it feels very nice for my grief. Obviously, what I would like for Mother's Day is to hang out with my mom. And since I can't actually do that in person, Summit and I are gonna go do the thing that we would be doing with her if she was here. If she were here? Oh man, mom, if you're listening, I'm sorry if my grammar wasn't correct. Anyway, we're going to the Tulip Festival and it is too hot in this car, judging by the fact that this guy is panting so much. So we're gonna get out and tell you more. So my mom's favorite flowers were, are? People dying is so freaking weird because you don't know how to talk about them. My mom's favorite flowers are tulips. They still are, right? And I never actually got to bring her here to the Wooden Shoe Tulip Festival in Woodburn, which is just like an hour south of Portland. I never actually got to come down here with my mom, but when I used to work for a TV station, I would come down here every year and do live segments about it. And I would always send my mom so many pictures because I knew she would love it so much. So tulips still and always will just remind me of my mom. And that's pretty nice to have something beautiful to look at and just go, hey, my mom's here. <laughs> Summit has never been here before, and even the grass is exciting to him, so that's cool. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, she's excited. What do you think, Summit? These are tulips. Pretty beautiful, huh? They smell good? Okay, these ones with multiple colors? Freaking magic. How is this a real thing that just grows out of the earth? Look at this. This is ridiculous. These ones that are like multicolor ombre, like a freaking sunset or something. I mean, come on. Also, love these ones that are like, yeah, I'm taller than everyone. I'm unique. Whatever, look at me. I'm amazing. Am I learning lessons about confidence from flowers? Yeah, maybe. Dude, dude, <laughs> you're supposed to tiptoe through the tulips, not the puddles. Excuse me. Is this a tulip or a freaking tiger? Tiger? Wolf. Tiger? Wolf. Uh, how? 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 You're beautiful. I love you. Oh, good. Some purple ones. Mom's favorite. Oh. Look, these purple ones are called endurance. We will endure. Great right, summit? Yeah. Shake it off. Endure and shake it off. Again, magic. Or look, in the middle of all these pure white ones, bam, this lady's like, look at me, I'm different. I feel like these ones are like doing a pose with their arms in the air. Like, bam, we're here. These ones look like they're wearing a crown because they're fancy. Oh my gosh, look, there's some that haven't even bloomed yet. Like some of them are done. And some of them are just little babies. <sighs> are the tulips really trying to teach me a lesson about life and death here? Like, some things die and go away and while others are just beginning? <sighs> it's true though. In a couple of weeks, most of these tulips will have died for the season and then the bulbs will remain and they'll regrow into something new and beautiful next year and <sighs> there will still be beauty left in the world. Am I making any sense? Probably not, it's fine. Just look at the beautiful flowers. I think we picked our favorite color. These pinky, purpley ones. They're so pretty. It just feels so freaking nice to be out here. Peace and quiet and beauty. Oh yeah, and Mount Hood is over there just looking freaking stunning. Right, Summit? You love that place. By myself, I mean, I've got Summit, but. When I'm by myself doing things like this, 
I feel like I can feel my mom with me more because there's just not as much going on. There's not people to talk to, but definitely feeling mom here with us in the tulips. Happy Mother's Day, mom. And happy Mother's Day to you, if you're a mom, or if you lost your mom, or you don't talk to your mom anymore. Happy motherless day to you. And Summit and I are just sending you a lot of love because you are not alone. And sometimes things are sad and they suck a lot, but there's still, there's still beauty out there. But it's also okay to just be really sad and pretend it's not a holiday and instead buy yourself flowers and chocolates and everything else that you want because you deserve it, okay? We'll see you next time. Oh, oh, and he's pooping on the tulips. <laughs>